Hello everybody, uh, this is uh, Sin City Preacher, uh, but if you're someone who believes that uh, uh, Jesus is your Savior because Jesus died for your sins, uh, then you can just call me Brother Luke. Now, today I had an interesting uh, encounter uh, with someone uh, at the doctor's office. Uh, maybe you've, you're familiar with the saying, uh, the letters WWJD. WWJD. Have you have you ever seen those letters? Maybe on bumper stickers, or sometimes people have bracelets or necklaces. Or I, it's uh, pretty popular. I imagine most of you have seen it. Uh, most people know the the letters WWJD stand for the words "What would Jesus do?" Now. Uh, that uh, term was actual co actually coined a long time ago in this book uh, by Charles Sheldon, uh, in, in His Steps, by Charles Sheldon. Now this book uh, was, uh, let me see, originally written in 1896, and it's a, it's a very good book. I re really recommend it. And this book is really about... Uh, uh, to teach us, uh, those of us who are Christians, those who believe that Jesus is their Savior because, because He died for our sins, those of us who are trusting Jesus for our salvation, uh, depending on Jesus to get us into heaven uh, because of, of what He did for us by dying on the cross, for those of us who are, are Christians, uh, this book is very instructive uh, it, it tells a story uh, about a, um, a man that uh, was homeless and came into a church one day and asked for help. And, and uh, the pastor, uh, how he dealt with that man and how the, the community dealt with that, that situation uh, is really the theme of the story. And the, it, it's a very, very good book. I really recommend it for everybody. Uh, the book has been... A, a bestseller, and I, I think it's uh, one of the most uh, uh, printed books ever because the pastor did not uh, get it copywritten correctly. So uh, uh, the publishers have not had to pay any copyright fees, so therefore they have been free to uh, republish it and republish it. And uh, so it's, it's sold many, many editions. And uh, it also spawned another book, uh, and the title of this book is What Would Jesus Do? And it is, uh, interesting enough, it's by Garrett Sheldon. And Garrett Sheldon is the grandson of the original author, Charles Sheldon. So the, the original book took place at the end of the uh uh, 17th century, and this grandson has taken the same concept and rewritten it in a, a contemporary setting. So the same concepts are looked at, uh, but in a modern setting that uh, that we in this these times can uh, more relate to. But really, the whole purpose of both these books. And the theme of the, the saying, what would Jesus do, is all about the concept of, of um, lordship or discipleship. Now, those of you who are familiar with my channel, Sin City Preacher, you know that uh, I've made a lot of videos uh, against uh, what is called lordship salvation. Uh, but some people... If you haven't watched an, uh, enough of my videos, you, you may have the impression that I'm against lordship. I'm, uh, you may think that I don't believe Jesus should be our, the Lord of our life. I don't believe that we should have uh, Jesus in control and, and uh, kind of managing and leading our lives. But that's not the case at all. Uh, I do agree in, with lordship, the lordship of Jesus Christ. And in fact, Jesus is Lord. He's Lord of all. Whether whether you wanted to be your Lord or not, He is Lord. 
Uh, but as Christians, we should have Jesus as our Lord. We should have Jesus controlling and managing our lives. We should be living for and serving our Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, but where I draw the line is uh, in uh, connecting lordship with salvation. You see, salvation is not based upon Jesus being our Lord. Salvation is based upon Jesus being our Savior. Salvation is based on the fact that Jesus died on the cross to pay for my sins. And I'm relying on his death on the cross as a full payment for my sins. So Jesus is my Savior because I trust him as my Savior. Because I believe his death on the cross served as a full payment for my sins. But, but Lordship is, is the fact that I now, I, in addition to him being my Savior, I want Jesus to be Lord. I want him to be managing my life, controlling my life, leading me. I want to serve him. And so Lordship is, is like discipleship. Uh, a person can be a believer uh, in Christ uh, and, and be saved. Uh, a person can believe everything I've just said, that Jesus is their Savior. He died for their sins, and they're saved. They're going to go to heaven. They, they receive the gift of eternal life in heaven because their faith in Jesus as their Savior. But that person may not be a disciple of Jesus. A disciple is a follower, someone who dedicates their life to, to uh, living uh, according to how Jesus would like them to do. So they ask themselves this question all the time, what would Jesus do? What would Jesus have me do? That is discipleship. That is lordship. I'm all in favor of Christians uh, uh, and of having Lord, the lordship of Jesus Christ. Uh, I just don't want to make it a requirement for our salvation because it is not a requirement for salvation. Um, now, that's uh, just kind of a, the setup for the, what happened uh, today at the doctor's office. I uh, uh, was checking into the doctor's office and the receptionist was wearing this thing around her neck and it said WWJD. And... Uh, and I asked her, I said, oh, the WWJD, uh, uh, I, that's uh, very, very uh, important. But m more important than that is, uh, is WDJD. What, what do you mean, she said. What do you mean, WDJD? I said, well, WWJD is what would Jesus do? And, and she and I both agreed that that's important to, to, so that we can live our lives uh, in a way that is pleasing to God. Uh, but I said, more important than that is what did Jesus do? What did he do so that we could be saved? What did Jesus do? Well, Jesus willingly went to the cross and suffered and died on the cross to pay for your sins and mine. That's what he did. Jesus was willing to die for me. Jesus demonstrated his love for me and for you by being willing to go to the cross and suffer and die for our sins. That's what Jesus did. So, to me, the, the, the term that is much more valuable, and because I'm an evangelist, because my my ministry is dedicated to uh, telling people the good news that um, even though we're all sinners, God loves us in spite of our sins. The Bible says that God demonstrated his love for us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. So even though we're sinners, God loves us so much that he was willing to have his son, Jesus Christ, suffer and die on a cross to pay for your sins and for mine. So, that's what Jesus did. And, and if you want to go to heaven, you have to believe that. You have to depend on that for your salvation. And then, I hope that once you've done that, then you will also embrace the doctrine of lordship. Not to get saved, and not to prove you're saved, and not to maintain your salvation, but simply because... The Bible says we love him because he first loved us. The Bible says God so loved the world 
that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. God loves us so much, he became a man named Jesus Christ. He loves us so much, he died for our sins. And Jesus said, there is no greater love than being willing to lay down your life for a friend. So that's how much God loves you and me, enough to die for us. And the Bible says we love him because he first loved us. So what I'm suggesting you, to you today is if you believe that Jesus Christ is your Savior because he died for your sins, then you have already received the gift of eternal life in heaven. You receive that as a gift and a promise. You're going to live forever in heaven. But now, will you love him in return? Let's not only uh, understand and appreciate what did Jesus do? He died for our sins. But now let's embrace what would Jesus do? He, well, let's live our lives according to how Jesus would ask us to live our lives. All right. I look forward to your comments. Uh, if, you, uh, if you don't uh, already have Jesus as your Savior, I'm going to ask you right now to put your faith in Jesus Christ as your Savior. Believe that you're a sinner and you're helpless to save yourself. Your future is hopeless because no religion can save you. No religious act you can perform can save you. There's nothing you can do to save yourself. You're hopeless. But God loves you so much, he sent his son to die for you, to provide a way. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Jesus is the way to be reconciled with God, to receive eternal life in heaven. So I'm going to ask you now to put your faith in Jesus Christ. Depend on him entirely for your salvation. And then after you've done that, the Bible says that we should love him because he first loved us. So if you love him, I'm going to ask you to dedicate your life to him. And your life will be more joyful and more blessed because of that. So I look forward to your comments. Bless you in the name of Jesus Christ, our great God and Savior.